Now then, Godzilla minus one, even the BBC is praising it. It must be that good. I'm your host, Rare Eddie One. I'm going to put myself in a little corner because we have some news to get into today and it's some fucking awesome news. I can't wait to get into it. I'll see you in a second. Oh, uh, already? So here we are. We are at the BBC culture, the wokest of the woke BBC culture. These are the BBC are Robin Bastards. Robin, absolute Robin Bastards. Give me all your money. And they are robbing from the poor and giving to the rich. Gary Lineker. Um, it, but even the BBC are agreeing and uh, shouting out this film. Godzilla Minus One, the Japanese film that 2023's best action blockbuster. Bypassing the Marvels. Holy shit. Holy shit. Um, the monster movie is taking the US by storm with stellar reviews and box office. The, after reportedly being made for just 15 million. That doesn't sound right in my head. 15 million does not sound right in my head. Generally, when we're talking about big cinema films, it's in the hundreds. It's in the 200s. And this is just made for 15 million. This film is going to make some fucking money. Does it show where Hollywood is going wrong? Yes, it does. Godzilla, the lumbering father of future action, action movies, has been a staple of, uh, of cinemas for nearly 70 years. The giant lizard stomping on cities around the world and ta uh, tangling with other monsters in dozen spin-offs the new Japanese-made Godzilla Minus One is being acclaimed as among the best ever, ever. And it's that rare a thing, both a critical and box office success, that may be a lesson for Hollywood, reportedly made for a mere 15 million with a simple plot and a surprisingly complicated human feelings expressed by a human humane hero it's back to basics approach has made the film a hit at the very moment the bloated hollywood superhero franchises are failing and they are failing but anyway let's have a look at some numbers because numbers do not lie and we are at the horrible Rotten Tomatoes and Godzilla minus one. 97% critics review, 98% audience score. That is a rare, a fucking rare thing. All audience for is 97%. But then we go to top critics and 100%. Now, I fucking do not listen to critics. I want to see this film, not because critics are saying it's good. I want to see this film. Critics could be trashing this film, and I still want to see it. Um, but it's a very rare thing that we get in two, two of the same. Two of the same. And here we go. So Hollywood Report. This is from a couple of days ago. Uh, Godzilla Minus One is a giant hit with critics. See it on the biggest screen possible. And I that's what I intend on doing. Um, hitting theaters in the US on the December the 1st. First, the kaiju feature is being hailed as among the best of the 70 year history. Now that's saying something. The numbers. So, worldwide box office, it's made just over 35 million. Now you may be thinking that's, that's not a lot. But this film was made for $15 million. $15 million, That still doesn't sound right in my head. $15 million, and it's made $35 million. Now, I'm not sure what the marketing cost is. Could be $10 million, could be $1 million. This film is going to make some fucking money because it's not even out in the UK yet, and I don't think it's out in, in a few other places. So it's got a few other um, revenue streams coming its way, and I can't wait to see what this hits and and does it, it at the end of its run and in theater wise in the US it's only in two just over 2000 theaters now when the marvels opened up that was in the 4000 theaters could you imagine what this would have done if it had took over some of the uh, marvel screens 
you would be fucking cinemas in this film would be making fucking money. But no. Where's my money? Where's my money? So let, let us look at the Marvel's numbers. And this hasn't even touched 200 million at the worldwide box office. Now let us remind ourselves. I don't think I need to. But production budget, 275 million. That's bollocks. It's in the 300s at least. And, and that's not even including marketing costs. Now, when this film opened, it opened at just over 4,000 theaters. Godzilla is just opened at 2,000, just over 2,000 theaters. Yes, that's, that number doesn't you say that number is not even close. I imagine Godzilla making this sort of money. I imagine Godzilla making that sort of money. And that wouldn't surprise me. It really wouldn't surprise me. I can't imagine the Marvels getting another 35 million worldwide box office. It'd be lucky if it gets 30 million, another 30 million box office, at the box office, sorry. And this is where Disney and Marvel are failing. They're, they're, they're putting so much money in thinking that, yeah, we're still going to get a hit, hit a billion. They're just plowing money in. They're getting, they're, people are robbing them blind or they're just fucking throwing money at the wall, hoping something's going to stick. But what they're producing at the minute is not sticking. Hopefully that wakes them up. I doubt it. It's going to get worse before it gets better. But the amount, the amount of times we're going to see films, little films like this, it's not a little film, but film a little budget like this, a $15 million budget. I think Five Nights at Freddy did something very similar. Uh, we all remember, well, I remember the um, Sound of Freedom. You know, these films made for the lowest amount of money and they're just, they're overperforming. I hope we see more films like this. Um, Please, you you will smash it at the cinema, especially if you just concentrate on a good story. A good story will go a hell of a long way. A good story and great visuals and improvised visuals. Not You don't have to go mad on CGI, but improvised visuals, you know, creative visuals and a good, a good story will go a hell of a long way. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please, please give me a like and please think about subscribing to me. That would be fucking awesome. You guys are legends. If you didn't like this video, I thank you anyway for watching. I've been your host, Rare Eddie One, and I will see you in my next video. Peace. <laughs>